Let's talk about the for loops first. So a for loop is used for iterating over a sequence, and a sequence in Python can be a list, a string, a tuple, a dictionary, or a set. So, however, we have only learned list and strings, so we're mostly focused on uh, looping over lists or strings. Uh, general syntax of for loop is for var in a sequence and followed by the body of the loop statement. Uh, I notice that the body of the for loop is indented for at least one level. With the for loop, we can execute a set of statements once for each item in the sequence. The loop index variable var takes on each successive value in the sequence. So let's see some examples. So first we have a list of fruits, uh, apple, banana, and cherry. And we can loop over this by for fruit in fruits. And if we want to print uh, each, and the output should look like this. So the fruit variable in this case will take on each uh, element in the list. So apple, banana, and cherry. So next example, we're gonna see how we can iterate over a string of characters. And in this case, we use the ch uh, placeholder variable uh, because uh, ch might be more uh, appropriate for this one. And uh, printing ch will print b first, a and a and so that's another way of how we can use a for loop. Next, I we can we can uh, more commonly we can use the range function, which will create a sequence of range values for us automatically. Then we can, for loop can iterate over that. So range three will create a range of values from zero to two, so that if we print each of these uh, values, um, as in in the variable i, we'll have zero one and two printed and another way of using the range function which uh, we can add a start value such as two in this case and then printing all those values or iterating over those values so we'll print two first then three and four then five notice that the last value which is the end value is still uh, exclusive and another example of using range is where we can add a step. So start value is 2, end value is 10, and step is 3. Which, which This will result in printing 2, then stepping 3, 5 to print 5, then 8. Then we should be done with the loop. All right, so let's see some for loop examples. So first, I've already created my um, fruit uh, list in the uh, Python shell. Then I'm going to create a for loop for fruit in fruits. Okay. And this name fruit is literally uh, a Python name. So you can basically use any name you want. So print it and then we should be able to get all of our fruits uh, printed out and uh, in the next example we said we can use for loop for ch in banana with colon and then we can print this time let's try something different we can print ch then we can say and and with space so this time instead of um, moving to a new line each time it's going to uh, put a space between each letter here we go and then lastly it's, we said we could use the range function so let's see what the range function does click on the range with three it creates a range object from 0 to 3. So this will look like this if we make it a list of range 3. 
it will look like a, 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 a sequence, a list of 0, 1, and 2. So likewise, we can say the range from 2 to 6. And it will also create a, a, a sequence, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And lastly, we said that we can ask, start from 2, let's go all the way to 21. And the step should be three. So start, finish, and step. And the list will result in two, five, eight, eleven, fourteen, seventeen, and twenty. Okay. So using the range function, we can create any for loop we want for i in range five. Okay. Let's say print. I. So I will take on each successive value in this list. In, no, in this list. Okay. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. So and one last example for I in range, let's say from 0 to 100 and the step is 5, then we can say uh, print i and with, let's try this, and with something else this time, let's do a dash. Okay, one small problem. Then we should say i comma So 0, 5, 10, 15, all the way to 95. Notice that 100 is not include, included in this number. 